today we're going to be reading a book and it's kind of like a seek and find book. So I'm going to be showing you a page of the book and we're going to try and look for certain things together. And it's going to be a little bit of a game. So in the comment section, you can either comment when you find a certain item or if you want to, um, you can draw a picture of it, of where it is, but whatever, just let me know how you found it, okay? This video is gonna be mainly for first grade, but I'm gonna send it to kindergarten as well because I think, I mean, we're just practicing looking with our eyes and why not practice that in kindergarten and first grade? So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna start off with is we're gonna read the book and then I'm gonna point out to you what things we're looking. So make sure you're listening. At any point in the video, you can pause the video to, to actually look, take your time and look, okay? It does not have to be while I'm reading, obviously. Please pause it. When I get to a page, after I say what you're looking for, I'm gonna say pause the video. Once you hear that, pause the video and then look for it, okay? And then after that, you can press play and we'll continue going through, okay? All right, friends, so the book that we're gonna read today is called The Lost House by B.B. Cronin, okay? It is a seek and find book, which is basically like, playing hide and go seek, but with a book, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna read this book. All right, this is the first page. It's a really cool book. It's called The, Last, the Lost House. So let's go ahead and get started. Granddad promised to take his grandchildren to the park today, but he needs some help getting ready. He's lost a few things. In his green living room are seats, saucers, statues, and two socks. Where are granddad's socks? Okay, so we're gonna be looking all around this video for the two socks. So go ahead and pause the video. You should have paused the video already to look because I'm gonna show you where one of the socks are. Your job is to find the other or make sure that you found both, okay? So one of the socks is in this corner right there. There's a little sock right there. Can you find the other one? Did you find the other one? Comment in the comment section where you found that sock or grab a piece of paper and draw a picture of where it is. Let's go on to the next page. In his tiny red kitchen, there are shelves full of dishes, a salt shaker, and a tin full of sugar. But where are Granddad's shoes? We are looking for Granddad's shoes. Pause the video. So on the previous page, you guys found the two socks. And if you notice, this is green. So his socks are green, but everything here is orange. So now we are looking for granddad's shoes. Did you find them? To be honest, I haven't been able to find all of them, but here's one right there, okay? So hopefully you guys found both of them. Please write in the comment section where you found them or draw a picture of them so that I can see it, okay? We're gonna go to the next page. In his yellow bathroom, Granddad keeps his fishing tackle and his teeth. He really can't go out without his teeth. Can you find them? If you see Granddad in the bathtub, he has his green socks and his orange shoes from the previous two pages. And now we need to find his teeth. Let's go ahead and look around. So pause the video. All right, friends, you should have paused the video to look for the teeth. If you guys found it, make sure you put in the comment section where the yellow teeth are, and then we will find out on the next page what we are looking for next. In the pink drawing room, there are pairs of galoshes and plenty of gas, glass lamps. There should also be a pair of granddad's glasses in here. Where are they? Wow. There's so many things in this room, it's gonna be impossible to find those glasses. Make sure you pause the video. All right, friends, you should have paused the video so that you can look for the glasses. If you found the glasses, make sure you put in the comment section where they were so that we can all know where the glasses are in this room. 
These are not Grandad's glasses. His are green. They must be in the living room. Can you go back and find them? There's Grandad with his green socks, orange shoes, his yellow teeth inside. Those are not his glasses, though. We got to go back in the green room to find it. Grandad sees that it may start to rain. He will need an umbrella. It's in this blue hallway, maybe by that pair of underwear under the unstable, unstable table. So let's find the pair of underwear. Pause the video to find the pair of underwear. All right, friends, so you should have paused the video to look for the pair of underwear. And now we're gonna look for the unstable table. The unstable table, I don't really know where that is, but it looks like it's gonna be right here. Did you guys find the umbrella? Since I haven't told you any of the answers yet, the umbrella is actually right over here. Okay, so make sure you are pausing the video to look, to take your time and look. The orange sun is floating outside, but Granddad can't go out without his cloth tote bag. It's not in the house, so it must be outside. Oh boy, we gotta look for a tote bag in all of this mess. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, friends, you should have paused the video to look for the tote bag. If you found the tote bag, go ahead and put it in the comment section. Let's keep going. Also, there's Granddad with his blue umbrella that we found in the previous room. Granddad has almost everything except for his pink and gray bow tie. Uh-oh. It might be in his study full of books, banners, and one balloon. So we are looking for a pink and gray bow tie. A bow tie is what maybe your dad's or your granddad's might wear around their neck when they're dressing up in a suit. So go ahead and look for a bow tie. We really got to get down because bow ties are pretty small. So make sure you are pausing the video. All right, friends, you should have paused the video to look for the bow tie. If you found the bow tie, make sure to put in the comment section where you found it so everybody else can find it. In the purple reading room, time is ticking. It's getting late, but where is Granddad's old pocket watch? Oh my God, we have to find something even smaller than a bow tie. We have to find a pocket watch. Go ahead and look on in the purple room and look for the pocket watch. Pause the video and look for the pocket watch. All right, friends, you should have paused the video to take your time looking. I'm going to tell you where the pocket watch is. It's going to be in that little spot right there. There's the pocket watch. Let's keep going. Granddad is sure he left his house keys up in the brown attic with some kite string in a kettle. Where could they be? Uh-oh, his house keys in the brown attic with some kite string and a kettle. Pause the video. All right, friends, you should have paused the video. Make sure you put in the comment section if you found the house keys in the brown attic. While his granddad's look in the attic, granddad looks in the green greenhouse for his hat. His hat had a big hat band and a feather. Where might it be hiding? All right, friends, we're gonna look for a hat with a feather in it. So pause the video. All right, friends, you should have paused the video to look for granddad's hat with a feather in it. If you found it, make sure you write in the comment section where you found it or next to what? Let's keep going. Ready at last, but where are the kids? Look at all the materials. There's the recycled tote bag, the pink and gray bow tie, the hat with the feather, the green glasses, the pocket wash, the umbrella, the green socks, the orange shoes, the house keys with the house with the kite string. 
Uh-oh, now we have to find the kids. I think this one's pretty easy. Pause the video and look for the two kids. All right, friends, you should have paused the video to look for the two kids. They're right here, hanging out on the couch. They've had a long day of looking for all the objects, just like you did. Well, he'll try again tomorrow. So, great job looking for all those items. The book is called The Lost House by B.B. Cronin, okay? And if you found all the objects, make sure you write in the comments, whether it's Class Dojo, whether it's YouTube, where you found them so that I can help you too. I'll be posting pictures of all the items on either YouTube or Class Dojo so you guys can double check and see where I found all of those objects, okay? Make sure you pause the video at each page so that you have more time to look and when you find it, that's when you can type in the comments where you found it. See you next time.